What's guys get rampage here? So today we have another Funko news video. Guess what? We have anime, we have chases, we have exclusives, we have a ton of new Funko Pops coming soon. So let's check it out. First up guys, we have the new Halo Pop. So I wanted to show updated glams of them. So we have a few Halo Pops in this. Um, there's actually, in this first one, there's a game add-on included, whatever that's supposed to mean. Um, I don't know. Um, I'm assuming it's kind of like some bundle DLC situation. Kind of like if uh, GameStop gave you the game or the Funko Pop free with the purchase of the game. Something like that, I believe. That might be something. I don't know. But we also have a few exclusives as well. We have a Best Buy exclusive, Target exclusive, Translucent Master Chief, as well as a GameStop exclusive. Exclusive. So I know the GameStop exclusive and the Target exclusive went live, but they sold out, I believe. I don't think Best Buy has went live yet to my knowledge, but it might have. It might have if those other two went live. So I posted the Translucent Master Chief last night, actually, or yesterday, like way early in the morning. So hopefully some of you guys were able to get it. Make sure to pay attention to my community tab because that's where I post. I post on Instagram, so make sure to follow me on Instagram. Uh, make sure to subscribe and click the notification bell to stick around because I'm posting these links everywhere for you guys and the Facebook group so you guys can get access to them. Um, I'm trying to help you guys out the best I can, but these actually look pretty cool. Um, the only ties I have to Halo is that I work the Halo Outpost tour for my job going all around the country for Halo fans, so it was pretty fun, but as far as Halo, I played it a little bit when I was younger, but I've never been the biggest Halo fan. Next up, guys, this set of Funko Pops is actually really, really awesome. We have The Boys, the Amazonic like exclusive show. That's a really awesome show. It's very hilarious, very dark, and just crazy. And the new season actually comes out today, like the second part or whatever. So I'm super excited to watch that. I can't wait to watch that. However, the pops look really, really good. So um, looks like we got A Train, we got Billy, um, I forget the main girl's name who kind of looks like Wonder Woman. Um, we got Starlight, and she actually has a glow chase, um, which looks really good as well with her eyes glowing, her hands glowing. Um, we have Homelander kind of floating there. Um, but yeah, it looks like we got a majority of the characters. We didn't get the deep though, which was kind of interesting. I don't know why we didn't get the deep. Um, and then we also have a few exclusives as well. So we have Starlight, an Amazon exclusive in that outfit she didn't want to wear. Um, we have Homelander, a Target exclusive with the glowing red eyes. I don't know if it's going to be a glow, however. Um, and then we also have a Billy Walmart exclusive where he's kind of bloody holding the crowbar. Um, I believe this is when he beat up Translucent. I think so, at least. Um, so yeah, I've seen the first season. I definitely want to see the second season, so I can't wait to see that later today. I'm actually making this video very early in the morning, if you guys are wondering. But uh, this set of pops looks really good. So the funny about the funny thing about this set was that it got pushed all the way until next year. For some reason, I don't know. A lot of sets have, but uh, it's interesting that... Um, that they finally released some glams, even though most of these aren't coming out until next year. Like, I want to say until the middle of the year for some of them. So it's kind of crazy. But if you guys are, if you guys enjoy The Boys, let me know down below if I have any fans of uh, The Boys show, because it's actually really good. If you have not seen it, I recommend it. Next up, guys, we have new Black Friday boxes coming soon. So they are going to be $20 as well, as we have some graffiti um, Marvel Pop program pops coming. So that's going to be $22.99, whatever that. Why is it more than the uh, Black Friday box? That's actually kind of interesting. Interesting. Um, but yeah, so the graffiti is just kind of going to be one of those graffiti lines. I believe there's a graffiti daredevil coming out in that line. That is the only one that I know of. So I think that's what's going to be in that box. Uh, but looks like we just have, um, I, I'm assuming the Black Friday box is going to be Marvel as well. I guess, I'm, I'm guessing. It's either going to be Marvel or DC because that's what they did last year, but we'll see, I guess. But the graffiti thing looks kind of interesting. Um, are they going to milk the graffiti kind of like the art series they've been doing? Or is that is that what it's part of probably, the art series? They're calling it graffiti? I don't really know. But it's very interesting. So we don't know what's in the boxes yet. But stay tuned. And when I find out, you guys will find out. Next up, guys, we have a new Toys R exclusive, Jeffrey as Superman. So recently, um, I think earlier this year, actually, we got Jeffrey as Batman. Or it was a little early last year, around like December, November time. Maybe. I don't really exactly remember when the Batman came out. So this is part of the Ad Icons line slash kind of DC line um, so it's actually it, lo it looks pretty good I mean they're reusing the same Jeffrey mold just a billion times over but I'm sure there's some fans of this line so like I said there's Batman and now Superman I'm assuming they're gonna make Wonder Woman Flash uh, Green Lantern Ma Martian Manhunter you know etc etc I'm sure they're just gonna keep going with it. Green Arrow I would buy Green Arrow if they made that I don't know, maybe. But yeah, this is really interesting. So this is a Toys R Us exclusive and you can only get it in Canada currently. Um, I believe some like 
companies like pop culture and a bunch of other companies will get stock so we can order it in the US. Uh, so stay tuned on this one, guys. Next up for my Star Wars fans, we recently had a Jawa pop pen um, go online for sale. It was $20 though. I don't know why it was $20. It's not a chase. It's not an exclusive. Uh, I guess, oh, well, I guess because it's only available at Loungefly, that's prob probably why. However, they were charging $8 on top of the $20 price tag, which is $5 more and then $8 shipping for an item that weighs about probably 10 ounces, depending on what variant you get or how big it is. I want to say 10 to 12 ounces, not even a pound. And it does not cost $8 to ship this thing probably like three or four. So I don't know where they're getting that shipping price from on top of overcharging, but it's kind of funny that I highly doubt this is going to sell out. Next up for my Bakugan fans, this one's actually really interesting. So looks like we're gonna be getting some Bakugan pops coming uh, either later on this year or next year. I'm betting on next year, but it's interesting. If I have any Bakugan fans, uh, let me know down below. I almost said Bakuko, it's pretty close, but Bakugan, um, I actually watched this um, when I was younger and I played one of the games on the Nintendo we if you guys know which game I'm talking about I don't remember the exact name but it's actually it's it's a cool anime it really is you know what's funny for the longest time I didn't know it was an anime I really did not know that until my brother told me like a few weeks ago I did not know so it's actually kind of interesting I was like watching anime without knowing I was watching anime at one point so it's kind of cool the last time I watched Bakugan and played anything Bakugan was probably when I was like 13 so like eight years ago. So that's kind of crazy. Uh, that's definitely nostalgia. So um, the, the image used though, unfortunately, in this little article is the newest one. It's kind of like, eh, nobody wants that. We want the old school Bakugan. So hopefully we get the old school ones and not these newbies, but we'll see. Next up for my Marvel fans, we have a 600 limited edition piece um, Funko pen. So this one is of Tony Stark with a crumbling Avengers symbol behind him. So that actually looks pretty good. And I would totally want this one. So it's going to be releasing on Labor Day. It's going to be a shop online exclusive, and I'm sure it's going to sell out like instantly, unfortunately. But it is, it's an official Funko pen, so that's kind of cool. I might try to go for one. We'll see, but I highly doubt I'll be able to get one. And next up for my One Piece fans, we have another character coming soon. So for those who do not know, on my other channel, Luminous Zero, I will link it down for, below for you guys if you guys want to check it out. I am currently reacting to the One Piece series. It's actually pretty good. I am going to upload upload episode three today actually um, I believe so that's really awesome so there's two parts currently up I'm really enjoying the series and I have some cool little things to show you guys in some future videos so stay tuned on that but for one piece looks like we have Luffy in kimono we have Zoro um, we have Sabo crocodile and Brooke so um, I don't know any of the characters other than Luffy and Zoro so far I don't know who Sabo is crocodile or Brooke is I know of Bro um, Brooks pop but I've only met Zoro and Luffy in the anime so far because I'm only three episodes in. So I have like a billion more to go. So if you guys are into that, make sure to subscribe to my other channel and go check out those videos. But this is interesting. Uh, I like that they're expanding the One Piece line finally. I'm super excited, I'm super excited for One Piece fans because you guys have been asking me, when are we gonna get more One Piece pops? And I'm like, I don't know, I mean, but now we do. Now we have some coming soon. So when I get more information, you guys will be the first to know. Next up guys, this one's an interesting one. So the MTV Moon Person um, that was originally a Funko Shop exclusive, looks like it was transitioned into a Funko um, Hollywood HQ exclusive. So, well, Funko Hollywood exclusive, I guess not HQ, but Funko Hollywood exclusive. So it looks like they changed the sticker on it last minute, or maybe the other person changed their sticker. I really don't know, but it looks like it is now a Funko Hollywood exclusive. So that's the only place you can get it. I don't think it's going to go online, unfortunately, but, um, it, I mean, it's still kind of cool, but it's kind of like a chrome repaint essentially, but it does look good gold. I think I would get the gold one over the silver one, but the interesting thing, the interesting thing about this regarding Regardless of the you know sticker change and things like that is that the moon person was never gold <laughs> so why did they do this he was silver or she he or she whatever but um yeah it was very interesting that they went that they went with gold but I'm not surprised for my Dragon Ball Z fans up on the hot topic website they do have some enamel pins that are like pop related um, so they're like little pop pins so these were the original pop pins before they did the giant enamel pop like Funko pop looking pens so I will just one thing I have to say about these pins is that they just look like garbage <laughs> like these pop pins no wonder they made the new like detailed ones because their regular ones just don't look great. Like, they have that little black, like, that cheap black and gold outline. They just don't look good to me at all. Personally, I don't know. That's just me. And then they charge, like, eight, nine bucks for them, and they're like, can we get better quality? But, I mean, 
like for a starter like pin collection they would look cool but in the end game no like we i like the funko pop pins better next up for my batman fans looks like dc unveiled plans for batman day which is september 19th and it seems like funko is going to have a new exclusive batman pop as well as a bunch of other batman stuff as well so i wonder what that batman pop could be because they've already made 42 million batman pops so like what else could it even be like honestly another chrome a metallic it's going to be something silly. It's going to be something we already have, and it's going to be a silly variant. I guarantee it. It's going to be like Batman scented, but it's his cape. You smell his cape sweat. Like, I don't even, I don't even know. I, like, I don't even know with Funko sometimes. So this is, this is interesting. Um, so Batman Day, it's going to be between September 19th and the 21st, I believe. So lots of products coming soon there. So probably expect to see a Funko News video around that day as well, talking about some of the new DC Batman pops. Why? Why? Why, Funko? But why? <laughs> why are we already getting exclusive variants? The common wave hasn't even come out yet, okay? And the fact that these exclusive variants are silly in themselves. So, <sighs> let's, 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 let's talk about it. All right, so we have the 10 inch glow in the dark Shinron which is a glow-in-the-dark pop and metallic, but it also has a 10-inch common, apparently, that is just now new, that they just released today. So, apparently, there's two variants. Now, this is probably, I think this is the second 10-inch pop to have a variant to it, um, the first one being that Trolls Chase, the 10-inch chase. Um, don't get me started on that Kid Boo Chase, because why? First of all, th these are the two questions I have about this chase. One, why, why is it red? It looks like he literally took a drink from the Kool-Aid man himself. Like, why is it red? He is pink. He has always been pink. He's never been red. So what are you doing, Funko? Like, what do you, why do you do this? Why do you do things wrong? Also, why would you give a chase to Galactic Toys? Especially a chase that everybody's going to want. So, the chase itself is just a variant. It's, it's literally the same Kid Buu Common with a little Kai Blast in his hand that they added that anybody could do. You could take a Kai Blast from a Dragon Ball Z toy and just glue it on there and it'd look exactly the same. <laughs> and the fact that Galactic Toys got it when they flip their own exclusives, like, how bad does it have to be that you have to flip your own exclusives? So here's what's going to happen with this Kid Boo Chase. Yes, it's probably going to sell out at one point. Yes, it's going to restock because they're going to make a ton of them. And then also, exactly what they did with the Broly Chase last time when that came out, is they're going to give away a bunch of chases like they did to whatever Dragon Ball Z group that was. They give away a bunch of chases to some admins and things like that. And then they sold a bunch of bundles as well. So it's, it's weird because you're giving away a bunch of chases, but you say they come all from the same place. So essentially, like last time, they gave away um, chases that people could have gotten in their orders. On top of their horrible shipping Galactic Toys did with Broly, these might be better because they're singular pops. Um, there is a bundle up on Galactic Toys website, and the bundle itself is 80 freaking dollars. Five commons and one chase. Looks like it's coming in December. Now, that is just, wow. The fact that you have to order six pops just to get one guaranteed chase, that is so silly to me. That That is like extremely silly. Like, this is Chalice all over again. Now, it was expected that this chase like would have went to Chalice or Galactic Toys because they get a majority of the anime chases, it seems like. Unfortunately, it, it shouldn't go to either because they just overprice them like crazy and give you real, really no shot realistically without spending a ton of money. So that's that. I just I don't. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Next up, guys, we have an Entertainment Earth exclusive Gohan. So this is a glow in the dark exclusive. The common hasn't even come out yet. Look at that. Go figure. So, <laughs> I mean, it looks cool with the glowing green eyes, and I think the gi might glow as well. Um, so that's kind of cool, the hair. But it's just kind of like, why? Why didn't we just get a new character? There's so many other characters instead of just another, literally, Glohan. His name is Glohan now. Um, and then lastly, for exclusives, guys, we have a only at Go, Calendars Go, exclusive Goku, which is a glow in the dark. So he has the little aura glowing in the dark, his um, hair and his eyes. So this just reminds me of the, you know, the Goku, the, the first one that was an entertainment exclusive that um, was a um, glow in the dark variant as well. So it just seems like glow in the dark is the new chrome or new metallic. Like every exclusive in this wave is glow in the dark. <laughs> like what? Why? Why? You couldn't come up with anything else? 
Nothing else. You didn't want to flop Kid Boo? You sure? You sure, Funko? I probably shouldn't say that because they will totally do it. Because this this is ridiculous. So, I, I like the Gohan. I like the Goku. Um, if I can get the Glow variants instead of the commons, totally. I will keep the Glow variants over the commons any day because they look fantastic. But it's also like it's not necessary. They literally just released the common wave and then now we have a bunch of Glow variants after people spent their money to order the um, common variants and now they have to order the Glow variants, especially if they're completionists. So, and I get it. That you're going to make the argument oh you don't have to order it nobody's forcing you to buy it well i mean in a way they are really because they give you pops you want and then make stupid variants like that's essentially what it is but anyways um if you guys are gonna grab these let me know down below and let me know down below what are your opinions on these also quick thing guys i wanted to talk about something um that happened in the last video that a lot of people were commenting and uh some people were being like kind of weird about um and i figured you guys would know this by now but i'm just gonna tell you guys anyways the new dragon ball z wave that i talked about in the last funko news video i did what some people don't seem to know is that those are going to be everywhere. They're all commons for the most part. We haven't seen any exclusives, so that just, guys, they're going to be everywhere. I know they sold out at Target. I know a lot of people are asking me where they're going to be, but the standard quest or the standard answer to your question, guys, is that they're going to be everywhere because they're commons. They're going to be at GameStop. They're going to be at Hot Topic. They're going to be at Box Lunch. They're going to be at Books A Million. They're going to be at Chalice Collectibles. They're going to be at Shoe They're going to be at Chrono Toys. I don't even like them, but, you know, they're going to be there. You know, they're going to be at Target. They're going to be everywhere, okay? Just so you guys know, you can pre-order them pretty much anywhere. Amazon, you know, you can get them anywhere, just so everybody knows. So, just so we're clear, because a lot of people are asking, and I just, I didn't think I really needed to answer that question, because, you know, most of the pops are always available everywhere, wherever you pre-order, so. But... For those who don't know, now you know. And for my Star Wars fans, we have an Amazon exclusive battle at Echo Base. So it is now available for pre-order if you guys want to go grab it. So it actually looks pretty cool. So it looks like it might be like a pop moment situation. Um, and it looks like maybe like an asteroid's hitting on the screen or something. I don't know. I haven't seen this part of Star Wars, so I wouldn't know personally, but it does look pretty good. But they, it seems like Amazon or uh, Amazon gets most of the Star Wars exclusive as well as most of the like um, like uh, deluxe pops, movie moments, uh, 10 inch pops, things like that. So that's very interesting. But overall, it looks kind of cool. And for any Scooby-Doo fans, here is a closer look at the art series Scooby himself. So this is um, this is part of like a charity thing by purchasing this pop at box lunch it will um all the money will go to feeding america for covid19 response um so that's that's like that's a good aspect that's a really good thing it's for however it's just kind of like oh these aren't series yikes but it, it, i mean i like the idea of it but it's kind of like they're gonna overdo it for sure but if you're gonna grab this one let me know down below it's it's very interesting maybe i'll grab one just to help out like uh covid19 response but Otherwise, I really wouldn't want this. <laughs> All right, guys, so lastly for the video, we're going to do some more New York Comic Con 2020 rumors slash reveals. So, uh, Serlent Pops on Instagram, he does this every year where he t puts out his little rumors. And most of the time, he's right, with a few exceptions sometimes. But first up, from the boys line, we have Black Noir. So this one, it was kind of expected that a boys pop would end up at, you know, New York Comic Con. This one, I'm a little... I don't think so. I like I'm personally on the fence about this rumor in particular because all the other pops are coming out next year. So I don't think they would release one from that line this year and then put all those pops and common pops and chases out next year if that makes any sense. So this one I'm kind of suspicious of but it could possibly come. Um next up guys, we have Funko Pop Ninja. So I personally Oh, it's Masters of the Universe. I was like I have no idea what this is. So they are really really milking the Masters of the Universe line, which it is expected of course because they seem to have like a motu pop at at least two cons in a year it seems like at least two because i swear we've already had motu pops at san diego comic-con did we have any at eccc i'm not entirely sure we might have but we also got a full new line a full new wave this year so there's also that also for master of the universe guys we have king hiss so it looks like it is just a king of like uh snakes and stuff it's kind of interesting actually kind of interesting to see how that would be into a pop that's actually kind of looks cool looks like a little bit like green arrow though like with the hood and everything but that one's kind of cool and lastly for our new york comic con rumors in this video we have a gi joe we have funko pop beach head so it looks like he is holding a grenade and a pistol um so this is just part of the gi joe line and most likely part of that retro toys line and listen guys a rumor popped up about G.I. Joe, and I told you about my New York Comic Con rumors reveal list of what I think is going to be there. I told you there might be some retro toys. 
So if I'm right, I'm right. I'm just saying. I also want to tell you guys that I did a Funko Pop prediction video the other day for New York Comic Con. So if you want to check that out, it is almost 40 minutes. A lot of cool like pops that I think that is going to be at New York Comic Con. So make sure to go check that out. Okay, guys. So this was a fun video to do. I love looking at new pops and I love keeping you guys up to date the best I can. So if this was helpful to you, make sure to leave a like down below, of course, and comment down below. What are you most excited about um, of all the pre-orders and all the new pops coming out? Because it's getting a little overwhelming. They're going in nuts this year. Like... It's a pandemic and it feels like they put out more than any other year possible. So make sure to comment down below what you're most excited for. Anyways, I want to say a huge shout out to my Patreon subscribers. I appreciate the support so much. You guys are absolutely legendary for supporting the channel. If you guys want to check out the Patreon and help me keep doing what I do, you guys can. The link is always down below. You guys can get Patreon only videos. You guys can get Patreon gifts. You guys can get Patreon only content, all kinds of cool perks. So make sure to check that out down below. I also want to tell you guys to join my Facebook group and Discord, really great communities over there. They are buy, sell, and trade folks, and you can make a ton of friends. So make sure to join those communities down below. Also, make sure to follow my social medias, Instagram and Twitter. That's where I post the most, post pop updates and pop photography. So if you guys are into that, make sure to, you know, follow me, of course, to stay up to date. Also, subscribe and click that notification bell if you want daily videos. All right. I love you guys. I'll see you guys in the next one. See you guys later. Bye.